Good morning, good evening, good day. It's Tracy back from Mentally House. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing fabulous. This is a Timu haul for February. It's a complete mishmash. <laughs> and it's... Uh, it's a bit manic here, because as you can see in the background, I'm moving everything around. I've changed the whole study area around. I'm trying to make the background a little bit nicer. <laughs> So I need to still get rid of things like that and the fan. <sighs> Let's see how it goes. Oh, and I've got a new desk. Ah! It should be arriving today. And I'm going to oh, gonna do an unboxing of it just so that you can see it. If you're interested in getting a new desk, it's an electric standing desk. And ah, I'm excited. That should be here tomorrow. So we'll be doing that unboxing soon but anyway slurp a tea <sighs> let me show you my desk <laughs> as you can see everything's a little messy but this is some team Wu products and I've got a bag of stuff full of products behind it <laughs> look oh so we've got quite a bit to get through. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay. <laughs> Let's move things about. Let's get on with it. Let's start off with something really straightforward. And I bought four of these. Oh look, I can see those two are already lit up, look. <laughs> they are lights. Now this, Ding. They're night lights, USB rechargeable night lights. They have got the magnet so that you can stick it and then take it down to recharge it and everything. And I've got one of these. I've been testing it out for the past what week, and it says it's got a huge lie in the team who advert for this. It says something like recharge four times a year. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, that, that that is not right at all. I like them and that I get up for a pee in the night and I've got one of these in the hallway. You could put one in the bathroom or one in your bedroom and you wouldn't need to turn any of the lights on. That's what I use them for, that kind of things. But I thought, oh, they'd be really good in closets and stuff like that as well. They come with a little tiny... The normal sort of Timu e <laughs> USB charge A to C, and I've bought five in total, and I've got four here. And that one that's out of the box, so that'll be a little bit brighter. I'm not sure how bright they go, I don't think it says, but they basically come on and go off as you walk past them. But I like them. These are good. Tick. These are a big tick for me. Cheap, cheerful. I have a closet, drawer, cupboard, or toilet lights, or night lights for the kids. Cheap, cheerful. Yay. Stuff like that. This is my next one. Clock. I've been looking for a clock. <laughs> I can't really see the desktop clock on the PC. So when I look on the PC, I can't really see that. It's too small for me. So I thought, I know what I need is a bigger desktop clock. So I went hunting for one. And I found this one. Let's have a look and see what it's like. Now it's like mirror effect. I'm assuming it's got a sticky layer covering that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's now nice and shiny. Um, here we go. <laughs> now I'm assuming you have to have it plugged in. Pluggy plug. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, got so much on the go. I'm, I've moved. Half my stuff into another room. 
So I've shifted out a load of my craft stuff. <laughs> Let's see if I can reach to fit this in. And big. Oh, I like it. Up, down, light, snooze, mode, alarm. Oh, light, up, down. So you've got three modes of light. You can see it's changing from bright to for a dimmer light. Nice. Mm, you've got a snooze button for the alarm mode button so I suppose so you can set the alarm off okay how do you set the clock <laughs> don't know we'll have to read the instructions Chase now it's got a battery compartment so you can run it by battery, which might be a little bit easier. Okay, I had a quick look at the paper. Actually, it's got a sheet and it's got English. You hold down the mode button, hold it for a few seconds and you can change it from 12 to 24 hours. Then press the mode button again and you then change, use the up and down arrows and change the hour. Push the mode button again and then you change the minutes and it, it's that easy but it's quite pretty isn't it so it's got white casing i know it comes in black as well and i liked the mirror front so that's that one nice like that i might put a battery in though so let's put that down there nice like that one <laughs> Stay at this desk. <laughs> Stay at the whole room, to be honest. The whole room is yes. I thought I'd put my shelves from the front room, my um, plant stands in here and put some bits and bobs on it. <laughs> all right. We'll see how it goes. But that should all get done soon. But what I want to do really, but what I want to do really is get on with my desk. <laughs> so I'm kind of waiting until my desk comes. This is the next one. Cloths. <laughs> Just microfiber cloths for the kitchen. Black. <laughs> if you know me, you know why it's black. I like a bit of black. And there's one, two, three, four, five cloths in this pack. Just nice, soft, perfect size. Not too big, not too little. I hate having a big cloth. I don't know why, but it's, I find it really annoying. And I can't see the point in buying white because I wreck them. So I bought five simple, straightforward cloths. I need a rubbish bag beside me. That's what I need to put here is a bin. I need a bin. Oh, my chair's got caught. Yeah, I need a bin right here. That would be ideal. I'll make sure that happens. Hmm. What's next? Whew. Rattly, rattly, rattly. Get out. Okay, there it is. You know, I can't even remember what these are. I, oh, these might be the little sort of crystally dangly window things seeing as there are so many packets i love a wind chime and you know the window sort of crystals and prisms and things like that that you can get so i bought let's see what they're like it comes in a pack of five if we can untangle it, Trace. <laughs> can you untangle it? Mm -hmm. With my bad eyes. Yes. <laughs> There's one. 
Oh, it's pretty. It's very delicate. I love that. It's like a little lotus flower. So there's one. What is that? Just a ring at the top. Be good if it was a hook. Make it easier to hang, but it should be easy to put a hook on the top of that. But there's one. Oh, she's pretty. Like it. Ooh. Have a look at the others. They're all going to be similar because they're a set. <laughs> okay I'm so excited about my desk tomorrow <laughs> sad isn't it stuff like that mm. okay yay <laughs> oh no almost yay you yayed too quickly no no that is how it goes yeah that's it <sighs> is that one? Oh, i like them i mean even though it's you can't really get much thinner it's a window decoration <laughs> i really i just want the lights to reflect off of these i think it's quite pretty you see it I think that's going to be nice. That's number two. Ooh. Oh, there's a good hang up there. <laughs> oh, I might be able to hang them. Mm. <laughs> well wrapped. Ooh. They are a little fragile. Gosh, there we go. There's that one. It's a moon. I love the moon. Moons and the stars. Oh, they're so pretty. You could get them in, you can definitely get them in silver. Uh, I think they come in another color as well. But I chose in the, the goldy colour because I'm getting bored of silver. Hey, kitty cat. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Monty. Aha. Okay. There's that one. <laughs> It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'll have to sort of show you my desk because they're laying on my desk at the, at the minute. When I've got them all out of the packet, I will zoom down and show you. Just the ponies up at the window still, watching all the birds. <laughs> yeah. Do a bit of trimming. Oh, that one come undone easy because it's a lot smaller, I suppose, less to tangle. But there's that one as well. Let me lay it on the table. And the last one. Got to pick up the paste trays. You got so many to get through. I think the others should be straightforward. It's just these are in individual packets. Okay, <laughs> and there's that one. Oh, what's <laughs> I mean, dew drops hanging a bit wonky. Right, let's get on the desk. And we'll see if we can show you the desk.
Okay. They were pretty. They were. Like them. Right, let's dive into something else. What we got here? <laughs> okay. Something really straightforward. But so easy to use. Picture hooks. And I just find them easier than nails and things. And especially if, depending on what, ah, can't get it open. What wall you've got. I got it, I got it. So they've got the little spikes there. There's the hook. Let's turn it up the right way, Trace. And you just hammer that into the wall. And hang your little picture on. It's, it's dead easy. And it doesn't make too much mess of your walls. And I... Same filler, I don't know. <laughs> and I got two packs of those, because one in the slightly bigger size hook. Make sure the camera don't bob around, because you know what my camera's like. So I've got, yeah, I've got two sizes of those. Nice, straightforward one. And this is another straightforward one. This is, you know, the little, um, like, Swiffer mops, the rubber mops that you get on the floor, and then you buy the little covers for dusting, especially of the wooden floors. I thought I'd try one out to make sure it fitted on my mop. And I think it will. I think it'll fit on the flash mop. It's not a mop, it's it's like a floor dryer or buffer. You know, it's sort of just rubber, a, a, a rectangular rubber, and then you put the cleaning cloths on top of it and then you can put them in the wash. Uh, I've got one that I think is made by Flash and there's definitely another one made by Swiffer and I think that'll fit. So I thought I'd try one and if I get on well with it, I'll get another and it's really thick. I like it. That should work well. Let's get another one. What we got now? Oh, got a couple of t-shirts. <laughs> got to stop buying t-shirts, Trace, as well. <laughs> got to stop looking at the screen as well. Stop doing that. So annoying. <laughs> <With the camera. laughs> so unprofessional. I bought another USB cable. Can never have enough. This one is it's a feels tough, you know the one that's covered in like nylon, like nylon knit or ribbed around the edge. Oh, it's it feels good. And it is straightforward. Let's okay. plug it in. So I plugged in the USB cable into my PC and this is a, a cabinet light <laughs> that I got from Timu from the kitchen. And see how the USB's got a little light on it. So it's got a little LED showing you that it's charging. And it's nice, thick. See how it's got the nylon thread? I like those ones for some reason. So that's working well. But I love the colour and I love the length. Straightforward, let me hang that here. That will get tested straight away. Straight away. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, it's a handbag. <laughs> couldn't see. Oh, it's nice and soft. It's a funny, weird sort of plummy colour, but it is nice and soft. It has got 
You're sort of too high, you can't really see, can you? Hold on a minute. Okay, lower the camera a little bit. So, it's got like embossed flowers on the front. There is a front pocket. Small, but enough for sort of change or keys. And then you've got a second pocket. Slightly bigger, that pocket. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the main pocket. Now, I... Oh, you've got two main pockets. So you've got one either side, look. So, well, that's quite good, isn't it? So you can separate the stuff in between the two pockets that are either side of the middle. So you've got the, a back pocket as well. And the front two pockets. Two middle. Okay. Any pockets on the inside? There is a little pocket on the inside as well. On one side. It's, oh, I like it because it's small. Because all I carry really is a credit card, keys and my phone. <laughs> I think that is going to work fine. They had better colours if you're not into this weird plummy purple colour. <laughs> For the money, and it's nice and soft. All the bags I've been finding lately have been really stiff, and the stiff bags annoy me. So I've been looking for one that's nice and soft. It's got a nice handle that you can lengthen. Zoom. Let's go super long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's going to work fine. I like that handbag. Yeah, no. I like it. Yeah, that's going to work. That's a keepsies. I'm going to bung it. I found somewhere to bung stuff. Found somewhere to bung stuff. Okay. Like it, that can stay. <laughs> Let me show you this. I think I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I'm doing up my little coffee area and I found this like little stressed desk thing so that you could put coffee cups and things like that in it in the coffee but look what it says on the front time of coffee what <laughs> why did i not see this before i could have swore it said time for coffee but it says time of coffee and i'm thinking <laughs> Um, no, I'm thinking no. <laughs> so as much as I like it, and it looks pretty good, I might have to send this one back. I love the distressed look of the box. But I'm thinking, do I keep it and adjust it myself? Because of the, it's going to bug me, time of coffee. What do you think? Mm. But it's got a nice look to it, don't you think? It's just, oh, don't know if I'm going to be able to get over that. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice it. <laughs> what a plonker. So we'll see on that one. If it's a keeper, you know me, I'll put the video in here. If it's not a keeper, there'll be no video. <laughs> I don't think it's a keeper because the of is going to bug me. So let's put that one there. We've got this big old bag down here. Let's grab some out. 
Let's do a straightforward one. Washing up sponges. They're just grey, they're sort of scrubby on one side and spongy on the other. You only really use the scrubby side, don't you? And they're actually, some of them I've seen, I bought some white ones, but they're kind of a bit small. These are a pretty average size and there's 10 in this pack. That's good. Now, if you saw January, you saw that I got it. I'm getting into aromatherapy oils and things like that. <laughs> I get a bit obsessed. And even though I said, oh, I don't do candles or anything like that, <laughs> I bought a mould and I thought, I might make some soaps. <laughs> So, I mean, I've never, I've never made soaps before, but I thought, I'm not going to sell them or anything like that. It's just for me, just for something to do. But I bought this little mould and it's got like, um, an imprint in the bottom. Can you see? I can see like a fabulous tree. There's a flower that looks like the flower from Tangled in one. Looks like a tree of life. One looks, I think they're just flowery. One looks a bit butterfly like. And this one looks like another flower. But gonna probably melt some bars of soap. <laughs> I know. So I'm gonna have a go at that. And then I saw this. The fish. Oh. Hmm. Let me just see if I can open it. <laughs> oh dear, my eyes. Don't. Oh, thought I kept it then. This is Yin Yang, and it tells you the dark and the lights of the Yin Yang. So you've got light is obviously positive and the dark side is negative. Can you see that? And so you've got day, night, moon and sun. Get it? Feminine and masculine. But I love yin yang. I think everything is kind of related to yin yang. It's all about balance, isn't it? So that's what I like and I thought that would look fab and of course it's black and white and if you know me you know I like the black and white stuff so it fits it fits me and it's a nice canvas again I love these canvases that you can get from Timu it's nice and big I think it's a good 16 inches wide and the drop is oh, a good 20 inch by the looks of it, if not more. But we are not meant to be perfect. We are meant to be whole. That's what it says. It's, it's fab, isn't it? Love. Love this. So this will go on the wall. Let me pack it up there. Nice. Bin definitely needs it down there. Ooh, there's so much in this bag. I don't think we're going to get through the whole lot. <laughs> I think we're definitely going to split this maybe into two hauls. I've had a little bit of a <laughs> empty out. I emptied out the bag. <laughs> and it's all over the desk now. So let's begin. Right. Let's start with something. I don't know what it is. It's not sure. <laughs> oh, what? It's for a wrist, is it? For a wrist? I think it goes on your... Let's try. Thumb for when you've got... A... 
Why would I have ordered that? I have no idea how that came to be in the order. That's super weird. I do not remember ordering that. Unless I've ordered it by mistake. <laughs> but hey, that might go back. Now I remember ordering this. I get arthritis in just one of my fingers. And these are a little. Now, do you. These are four fingers. Ta da! Whether they do any good. They're like compression socks for your fingers. <laughs> but this finger, just this one finger, can be a complete pain in the bum. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to cover, cover up or not, but I thought I would try. There's no harm in trying to see if the, the compression sort of thing helps ease the pain. And they, I only wanted one, but they come in a pack of 10, obviously, for each finger. But I thought, sorry about the finger. <laughs> but I thought I'd try it. Let's leave that on. Hmm, okay. That one's worth the try. What are these now? These could be more hanging thingies, because there's four packets that look the same for this one. Gosh, it's 11.13 already. Looking at my clock. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. These are corners. If you saw my aromatherapy haul, you saw that I bought um, a pine box. See, these are corners. I thought they'd decorate my box. <laughs> so I've got these corners. Mm, I can't show you. <laughs> oh. And I've got two slightly bigger ones for the back. And I'm pretty sure that I ordered two smaller ones for the front of the box. I've got to jazz it up. <laughs> So here's the other. That's the other bigger one. Yeah, I like that. And these should be the smaller ones. Let's have a quick look. I'll only have one. <coughs> Let me in. Actually, it's feeling better. <laughs> See, it's a dinky ones for the front. But I'll show you it once I get it on my box. And there's the other one for the front. So they're the corner pieces. And then I was looking for feet. And I assume this is the feet. Open it up. Yeah. So these are four little corner feet. So the corner of the box sits in there. And then you put the screws in underneath and the box will have little feet. So I've got four little feet to go for my box. So I'm going to have fun playing with them. And then I've got my bedroom furniture is all like Ikea cheap stuff. And I thought, what if I tried to decorate the corners of the drawers? Will it look better? <laughs> so, and that's all because I was looking for the stuff for my box. And I come across these and I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, and I've just dropped one of the screws. And I've caught it. Yay. <laughs> Let me just show one. So there's the corner piece. 
and it goes on the edge. It's, it's really pretty, really pretty. So I'm thinking, will I be able to decorate, say that's one of my drawers, I'm going to put it on the corner. If it works and it looks pretty, I'll show you. I'll show you what I do with them. Not on this video, I've got so much going on. So it might take me a, a couple of weeks to get around to doing it, but I bought, uh, they come in packet of four. I bought one, I bought enough for each of my drawers that I've got. And look, I've got a few. <laughs> so there should be enough for each. So that's them. Let's do a fun one. Now I've started to think about the background and what I'm going to put on the background. And I love black, white, grey. It's not so much grey, more black and white. And I found pom poms. <laughs> I love a pom who don't love a pom pom? I mean, come on. It's a pom pom. What's not to love? <laughs> uh, don't knock up, please. Okay. Phew. It's a really long piece of string because then you can just scoot your pom poms where you want them along the string. And hang on. Love, 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 <laughs> love. And I got three. I thought you only ordered two, <laughs> but three of cups. Okay. Won't say no to a pom pom. They're quite a nice size. They're not really soft and fluffy like they're going to fall apart. So they're more like felt, if you know what I mean. And they look like they might survive a little bit longer. But I like them. Cute! Nice. They look nice with lights as well. Twinkly lights attached to them. <laughs> like them. Um, sit there, Pom Pops. <laughs> Oh, let's do this because it's a pretty. It's pretty. Let's start with this one. This is a sticky mirror. I'm not actually sure where I'm going to put this. I might not even put it up in this house because I hope to be moving in spring. But it is another yin yang. And it is stick on mirror. So you would peel this off and it would be a shiny mirror. They give you the dots as well, but to swap opposite dot colours. So stick on, straightforward stick on mirror. Like, I like it. Yep. Don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Like I say, that's probably more for when I move. But if you watch regular, you know that we go around the house every now and then and you'll see all of these items plastered all over the house. Saw this one before, it was just so pretty. Look, I thought it went with my theme, and it had to come really. Okay, it's not quite as good as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's got a real harsh smell, and I assume you put little knots in the back of that and you hang it up 
so it's got like shoelace ends. It's just a harsh bit of string. I thought, I don't know what I thought actually. I thought it was more acrylic-y type thing and it's just a thin bit of MDF. I mean, it's pretty, but now I've seen it up close and personal. I don't know. <laughs> I like it, but is it worth the money? What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Jury's out. <laughs> Jury's out. I don't know that one. I'm going to have to reread the description of that one because I'm not so sure. Okay, I've had a quick look at it on the site. <laughs> it's, I paid $3.89. Don't know if I've had any refunds on it. I don't think I have. And I don't think it's worth it. I think it's really thin. I don't know what I thought it was. I thought it was more like resin. I know... <laughs> I don't know. I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed with that one. So I might send that one back. Next. What we got? Oh, let me look up the price of it. We got these two. Now, not that I want any more of these humidifiers, but these popped up on one of their, I think it was, uh, their sale, their is it the payday sale, and it came up for thirty nine p. And there's the little charging cable. There's the little sponge in its little compartment, and its little oil humidifier. And that was thirty nine pence. And I got two of them because I thought, I don't know, maybe the grandkids might like them because they're quite dinky. They might. Because they're not really allowed to have candles or anything like that. And I've got two of them at 39p a pop. <laughs> How can you say no to 39p? That's what I thought. Okay, onwards, we got colours. How many colours in here? This is for the soap making kit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve colours in this kit. And it says, let me get me in Spectacluso. Compound colorant food additives. This one's sky blue. They're in 10 mil bottles. They're food grade pigments, which will also be good, I think, for soap. And there's a packet of 12 here of all different colors. There's white and orange and green and blue and rose and brown and black, red, pink. <laughs> so I've got them, yay, <laughs> to have a play of them. Talking of soap, I thought that I would try their transparent base out to make some soap. Just melt and pour, and it says SLS free with olive oil. And this is a pound. This is one pound weight. Hide the head, and that's for melting to make my little bars of soap to go with the colorants. Nice. 
And with the aromatherapy uh, that I've got, remember, I've got the aromatherapy cat one. Love it. Love it. It's in my bedroom. And you can get spare little sponges, wicking sponges. So I bought a pack of, two packs of wicking sponges while I was at it. This is aromatherapy pendant. I thought might be nice for the wardrobe. So it's got uh, a bow, if you can call it that, and a hangy piece, of, and then the actual flower. Oh, yeah. What is that smell? It's nice. Um, I think it's white tea. That smells quite nice. But basically, it'll have the. I probably won't bother putting the ribbon on it, to be honest. It's just going to hang in my wardrobe. So I'll just hang it in my wardrobe. Oh, that smells quite nice, you know. It's not bad. I've never smelt white tea this, like that before. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's quite nice. Next. <laughs> Super long. Hope you've got a coffee. <laughs> um, I thought I'd try out one of the soaps. What is this one called? Let me get the Inspector Clouseau out. This is Jasmine Handmade Soap. Can't go wrong with Jasmine, can you? Wow, that's an intense smell. It's wrapped in polyfilm. And the little tin is quite cute, isn't it? But, oh, yeah, we'll try that. Um, that way up, Trace. <laughs> hide face, hide face. What's that? Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. And then I've got, uh, I think, eight slots empty on my aromatherapy box. So I bought <laughs> Freesia 10 mils. Don't want to go too mad in the describing all the aromatherapy oils like because I've already done that. This one, tea tree, ten mil tea tree oil. Should we smell them? Because I have never smelt the freezer and the tea tree oil one. Oh, I can't get it open. Ah, it's difficult when you ain't got nails. Stop biting them, then, Trace. <laughs> oh. This one is Freesia. Oh wow. That's nice. That was nice. Freesia's lush. Yeah. Woo. And this one is tea tree. I've never smelled tea tree before, I don't think. Okay, it's kind of mild. It's not far off of the freezer smell. It's like a mild freezer smell. Nice. Hmm, like them, but they're gonna look excellent in my box. <laughs> my rubber therapy box. Determined. I can't help myself. Oh, this is patchouli. I've never smelt. Patchouli before either. So there's this one. <laughs> Patchouli. Oh, that's not like. Mm. 
very mild. It's very pretty, very feminine smell. Yeah, it's it's very nice. It's very mild, but very nice. I could smell that in a soap, for sure. You know, it's not overly potent. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Now what we got? Bergamot. Another one that I've not smelt before. I know they tend to use all these in your perfumes, but mixed with everything else. So I've never smelt it on its own. So let's open it and smell it. <clears throat> Very mild. Gosh. Really mild. Almost, almost not there. Yeah, that's... No. No. I don't think that smells of anything. Don't know about that one. Might send that one back. You can go down there. Hold on. You need your bag. Because you've got to send things back in its bag. <laughs> How do I know if it's that bag or not? <laughs> I don't. That bag will do. <laughs> what one is this? Rose. I know what rose smells like. Oh, not again, Chase. You've done it again, Chase. And I've got to go in and change it to come down a bit. Rose, stay in. Mm. Lily, stay in like that one I've smelt that before that smells lush it's another lush one this one is uh, frankincense I have never smelt frankincense before well not on its own might have with something else but This reminds me of We Three Kings of Warriors are <laughs> bearing gifts with Carolina. Stop singing. <laughs> I've thrown the bag as well, just in case. Oh, it's quite nice. Quite surprised. That one smells nice. Mmm. It's got like an extra ring on it. And what have you got an extra ring for? That'll annoy me. Uh, can I get that off after? Nice. Like that one. Frankincense. Thumbs up, frankincense. <laughs> okay, where are we at now? Aha! Mould. I bought this. Maybe candle making? I'm thinking maybe candle making. And I found yin yang sign. Ta -da! I thought it was quite nice. Thought I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> like it? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And then I bought this mold. This mold looks funky. It is a heart. Oh, it feels like slime on the outside. But on the inside, it is, um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but it's like 
knitted waffly pattern on the inside. So that's what the soap will come out like. So it's like a heart mold with the waffly cut on the inside. Nice. See what that comes out like. I like that. It's nice to play with as well. <laughs> it feels like weird schnock. <laughs> Boogies. <laughs> okay, got another mold. Another like soap mold. Don't make me get started on mold chase. Don't let me get obsessed with moles. And this one is just straightforward ovals. Just wanted basics. Like I said, I'm not selling them, it's just for me. Just basic oval soap moles. And the other ones are squares. So that's the mold. <sighs> what else have I got? I got. The top of my oral B electric toothbrush. It always feels like it should be covered. So I went looking for some covers. And these cover the oral B toothbrushes. Cheap, cheerful little covers. They're gonna be perfect little things. So I bought them. <laughs> I bought some earbuds. Straightforward earbuds i mean uh, they're very thin but hey they do the job uh, it was thrifty in there 100 just about read it then there's a hundred in there they're quite thin but they they kind of work so do i do the yeah let's do the kitchen things as well I saw this and it's only a few pence so I thought okay I've got to be careful because you know what a klutz I can be and these are like little blades look they look like little packet knife opening blades and basically you get like a leak and then Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> and you can get some nice thin cut leek or carrot or celery or something. But for me, it was mostly for the leeks. So, and I got that. But I, I'm going to need to be careful because I am a klutz. <laughs> so there's that one. And then I saw these and I thought, oh, I'll have to have a go at them. Now, these are a good size. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be, which is unusual because with Timu, normally everything comes out a little smaller than you think. <laughs> but no, these are bigger. And I've got two of them. Now they're trays. You clip open. You put whatever it is you want to seal in there, in the tray, obviously. And then this is like, like rubber, like cellophane almost. So when you trap something in there, it should snugly fit around it. What can I trap in there? I don't think you're put, supposed to put a big old apple in there. Let's chat the earbuds in there. <laughs> Let's, hold on. Let me clear this desk a bit and we'll go down. Right, we're down on the desk. <laughs> Look at the state of it. So, let's go, I think it's this way. So you put these in there and you shut it around whatever it is you're trying to protect fridge wise and clip apparently <laughs> if i've got it the right way around have i trace yeah i have just tracy being tracy and therefore can you see how it it traps 
around it. And therefore you can stack them in your fridge. I thought it'd be good for things like bacon, ham, cheese slices, stuff like that. And I thought, yeah, I'll give them a go because, and then you can stack them in the fridge. What do you think? I've got two of them. I kind of like that. I like the fact that it completely comes apart. Easy to wash. You have to make sure you line it up right. <laughs> I think it's easier to look at it. Let's see, where is it? It's white, so it shouldn't be too bad, Trace. <laughs> oh, God, she says. Yeah, look. <laughs> I'm such a klutz. Okay. I think that works. And then it sort of goes flat again. Hmm. We're, we're going to give them a shot. Okay. So that's the trays. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna give them a go. And I bought, I had one of, I've got these little table runners. But I had winter missing. I had Christmas, but I didn't have winter. And then I found a little snowman with Hello Winter written on it. So I thought, while I'm at it, I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> and here he is. So he's a runner with a snowman. So he's just wintry, he's not Christmas. And the middle is just flakes. And it's the same the other end. Hello, winter. So we'll put him on the table. Gonna put him on the table. Show you it. Yeah. Quick look into the kitchen. It's all the stuff that I've bought in. Just to show the little table runner. The Hello Winter Snowman. He's cute. And this is the table runner. You can get it in different sizes. This one should just about reach when I've got my table open. There's my runner. And there's all my kitchen bits that I've got to put away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> last one. Here's a butter dish. Ooh, black butter dish. <gasps> Isn't it fab? And it's got a bamboo lid. It's huge. That'll fit the biggest slab of butter in there. And it's got a little butter knife on the top. That's lovely. It's very heavy. And it's a uh, ceramic. Nice. Comes in multitude of colours. I think I've seen it in like maybe a dozen different colours. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think we're there. I think we made it. <laughs> that was big, no? And I've still got all the t-shirts that I haven't shown you, which I'm gonna put the t-shirts on the next haul. There will be another haul because um, there's a couple more bits to come. So we'll do a, a smaller Timu haul coming up in the next week. Probably after the desk, then we'll slam the last of the Timu one. So, yay! Whew, that was manic. I prefer the hauls that are all on the same sort of subject, but when they're a bit manic and it's all into one, it feels a little bit overwhelming <laughs> to me. It doesn't help that my space is not tidy. I've got nowhere to put anything at the moment and it's all a mess. So hopefully next time it'll be a little bit easier. So I'll show you the so, state of my study <laughs> at the moment. Everything 
is everywhere. Jack. <laughs> Jack and the cat are still okay though. <gasps> There's my aromatherapy box. <sighs> so these are the shelves that I'm building to put behind. Oh look, that's <laughs> where I hung my little glass things. I think I'm gonna hang in the window here. But these shelves will go behind here. I've got to move this stuff, but look at the state of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the state of what I'm working with at the moment. But we'll get around to sorting that out. <laughs> yeah, so thank you if you made it all the way through. And if you don't mind giving us a like and a subscribe, be forever grateful. So until next time, thank you. Um, be good. Look after yourself. Bye.